Yo, what up everybody? Welcome back to Ghost Entertainment. It's your boy Reloads, bringing you guys another Unity 3D tutorial. Today in this video, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to make a scoring system inside of Unity 3D. It's super easy, super simple. So the first thing you guys want to do is you guys actually want to go ahead and click on Game Object. We're going to scroll down to UI and we're going to create a brand new UI canvas. And then once we're on this canvas, we're going to right click on it. We're going to scroll down to UI again. And we're actually going to create a brand new text. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to increase the size of this text. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Best Fit and change the color to red so you guys can see it. And then once you guys do that, the next thing you guys want to do is you guys actually want to create a brand new C-sharp script. So I'm going to create this script and I'm going to call this scoring. And then once you guys create this script, what you guys want to do is you guys actually want to double click on this script. And it's going to open up the script inside of either Visual Studios or Mono Development, depending on whatever you're working with. So the next thing you guys want to do in order to use UI inside of the Unity Engine when you're working inside of a script, you guys want to just type in using Unity Engine dot UI. And then the next thing we're actually going to be doing, we're actually going to go scroll down and we're actually going to type in public text scores text. And then we're going to type in public int score equals zero. Then we're going to type in public int max score because this is going to allow us to set the max score. And then in void start, what we want to type in, we're going to type in score equals zero. So this is basically on the starter. Once the script runs in the start, the score is actually going to be set to zero. And then the next thing we're actually going to be doing, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to type in public void add score. And then we're going to type in it new score. And then we're going to type score plus equals new score and then after that the next thing you guys want to go ahead and do is you guys actually want to make a brand new function called public void update score now this is just basically going to allow us to update the ui for our score inside of the game and then we're going to type in score text dot text equals and then we're going to do parentheses and then we can do whatever let's say for example we're just going to do i'm going to type in zero i'm actually going to type in score score and i'm going to do zero like that and the next thing i want to do i want to do plus score and then what you guys want to do after you guys create this variable because like i said this is just going to be updating our score ui we're actually going to go down to void update and we're just going to type in update score So this is basically the script for this. This is super easy, super simple. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and save the script. And then I'm actually going to go back to Unity 3D. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a brand new empty game object once it's compiled. Alright, so I'm going to create a brand new empty game object. This is just going to be like our holder for um, the script. And I'm going to go ahead and drag the script onto the empty game object. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this text in. Now I'm actually going to be setting our max score to be 10. And then the next thing I want to do in order to test this out, I'm actually going to be creating a brand new C-sharp script. I'm just going to call this test. And then I'm actually going to double click on this. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to be getting a reference to our scoring system. So what I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in public scoring because this is just getting a reference to that class. And I'm just going to type scoring like score like that. And then inside of update, what I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in if input dot get key down parentheses key code dot p and I'm gonna type in score dot add score parentheses one so this is basically saying is that if I press down on the p key it's gonna add one to my score so I'm gonna go ahead and save this I'm gonna go back to the engine now what I want to do is I actually want to go over to game object and I just want to drag this script onto this and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to be dragging in um, the logic for this. I'm going to drag in the game object because this is um, script is on this game object. So like I said, this is the reason why we created that variable because I'm getting a reference to the scoring text on this uh, test game object. Now if I go ahead and hit play, now what will happen if you guys will see is that the score is going to be set to zero. Now if I go ahead and press P, it's going to add my score to one. 
and if I press 2 again and keep pressing P, it's going to save this. It's going to go all the way up to 10. Now, you guys will notice that if I keep pressing P, the score just keeps going up. Now, the way to fix this, what you guys want to do is we're actually going to be creating a brand new text, right? I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then I'm just going to change this to say, instead of new text, I'm going to change this to say, do you win? And I'm actually going to go ahead and just disable this game object for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be going back into my scoring system. And then what I want to type in, I want to type in public game object score text score. And I'm also going to do public game object. And I'm going to type in you win text. Right. So basically what I'm doing is just getting a reference to my um, UI game objects inside of the engine. This is going to allow me to sit there and like disable them. Right. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to scroll down to update. And now I'm going to say if current score, if score equals equals max score then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually gonna sit here and i'm gonna say score dot game dot set and active to full score dot score dot set and active to false so this is basically just disabling the game object and then i'm actually also going to be setting you text which basically should say you win dot set active to true. Right? So now if I go ahead and save the script, if I go back and I play the game again and I go ahead and type the P key, once it hits 10, it will actually disable this and say you win. All right, one. Oh. All right, so this right here is a um, no reference. This basically means I didn't assign any of the variables. So in order to fix this, I just need to touch, drag this over here. I need to drag this over here as well. All right, so we go ahead and clear this error. Now, this will actually work the way that it's intended to work. So if I keep tapping all the way until it gets up to 10, you guys will notice it will say you win. And that's basically how you make a scoring system inside of Unity 3D. It's super easy, super easy, super simple. If you guys found this tutorial very useful, be sure to smash that like button. Also, subscribe to Forgo Some Entertainment while your notifications turned on. If you guys have any other tutorials you guys want to see me make inside of Unity Engine, just let me know down below in the comment section. And I'm going to see you guys on my next one.